welcome to Professor Ghostman's tutorial. My name is Professor Ghostman. What we are building today is a sapling collector, so it is important to wear gloves as you're going to get wet, and some safety goggles to make sure. Without further ado, let's go and have a look at the sapling collector, what you're about to build. And here is the sapling collector. It relies on water, and it's a very simple construction. The saplings fall down. Often than not, you've got to be careful because saplings seem to fly, so hence why it's slightly larger than it needs to be. Uh, there will be a world download, so in, on this board it explains to you what items you will require. And then I go step by step. I put notes on here for you, so everything should become quite clear. So without further delay, I have sheep spawning on my field. Right, <laughs> I'm going to start building. So, first things first, get rid of sheep. Done. Except for a rabbit. <laughs> so, you start off with a 10 by 10 area. First things first, let's dig down and find our center. I have located the center. This is the center. This is where the trees will grow. In the corner over here, that is where the water source will go. So the corners opposite the water source you should come two away like so and again over in this corner one one two there we are and then what we do is you go along on a diagonal like so and then we'll get rid of this layer. So You should have a scene like this then what we need to do is we come down here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that is it. So what we do now is like so, and then that should give you the water running down. But the final step, we take this out, we take that out as well, and that out there, and we place down a hopper with a chest on top or chest next to it and then we should give this a test so we grab our water source and we go over to the corner release the water it flows down correctly it should all end up going out the side because what have I missed I have missed a sign and all you do place a sign and then the final bit is just pure decoration but I also place some fence panels in. So one, two, three. There we go. I would place the torch on this one so it allows unrestricted access to the tree's growth. And then I personally would put the ladder in the corner to allow easy getting out. And all that's left is to grow your trees. The other benefit of having water under your tree is when you're digging up a very high jungle or spruce, you can fall down and you'll land in water taking no damage. I've been Ghostman and thank you for watching the Sapling Collector build. Stay tuned for more builds. Thank you for watching. If you'd like, please leave a like.